Today, we are talking about how AI is transforming diagnostics. From when data is generated to when a life-changing decision is made. This isn't just a tech topic, it is a patient safety issue. A recent study has found that nearly 800,000 Americans suffer serious harm or death every year due to diagnostics error. And that is a staggering number. I'm joined by two incredible leaders today, Stefan Fairclough, VP of Informatics at Personalis, and Kenny Spear, VP of Software Engineering at Garden Health, to discuss on the topic. Let's dive in. We are in the era where genomics, uh, liquid biopsy, and AI, they all are converging. Even a couple of weeks in delay in starting cancer treatment really increases the death by 10 to 15 percent depending upon the cancer type. So speed and integration along with accuracy is so important. Companies are in the game of measuring that DNA and trying to help people understand uh, what's going on with their cancer. If we zoom into oncology and liquid biopsy workflows, they are data intensive pipelines, right, in healthcare overall. If, if you think about it from blood to the digital signal, before we even get to like the high performance compute and running algorithms, we have to somehow get that digital signal, right? So that process in and of itself is multiple days hundreds of instruments in some cases. As science progresses, these assays become more and more complex and we have to design them. If a person is going for a test in the hospital and they go ahead, the wait time could be seven days or more for the result. And the result comes and then the treatment starts. Help me and understand the whole patient journey. Each of those patients comes into their journey in a different mindset with a different need. And then there are two questions that one of people want to ask is the first one is the therapy selection if i need to give a drug what drug should i give the other one is the monitoring the mrd test i really want to see the completion of the transition from cancer from terminal disease to you know, managed care disease ai making the cleanest and clearest difference in your workflows beat your speed or error reduction or helping clinician interpret the results or in yeah. any other areas the opportunity is there for ai to fill in all of these gaps. The hard part today is the framework. You've got all of these different companies from Jira, you know, Confluence and Salesforce and Slack. The use case I just specified included four or five different systems. And so AI in one system isn't necessarily very helpful, but it's connecting those systems together. I would like to know some interesting stories from your own organization currently, where you think that AI has surfaced something very meaningful and that has changed the care. I remember I had a buddy from college, he and his wife um, were teammates of mine and uh, her mom ended up getting lung cancer and I recommended that they take the Garden 360 test that we had worked on and um, they found a mutation that um, oh, had a therapy associated with it and they were able to get uh, get her on that therapy. And we went out to celebrate a birthday a few years later and her sister was there and she looked at her sister and she said, Steve helped build the test that extended mom's life. That's the greatest, you know, feeling in the world. I don't know when, but I think it's going to come is where we can do more predictive analysis, right? Um, and, you know, there's so many questions we don't know. You have two patients, they have the exact same DNA mutations. One of them has a positive response to a therapy and one of them doesn't. Why not, right? There's more information and this is where we get into multimodal, right? Right.